<sighs> Can I ask you a favor, please? Yeah, of course. Thank you. Do you mind just helping me get up? I need to go upstairs. Sure. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, honey. Uh -huh. I ordered some food. I don't want the waiter to come back and not find no me. No problem. Here. Meg, can you take yeah, my mom upstairs? Yeah. I'll find the waiter. Cancel okay. your order. Thanks. No Thanks. Thanks, honey. Hey. Um, Miss Ryan, I'd like to cancel her order, please. Of course, Miss Ryan. Thanks. Luke, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to upset you. Oh, you didn't. You didn't. It's okay. I just got to get going. <laughs> okay, um... All right, honestly, the thing is... I don't know, the idea of dating somebody else, it... It just... It never crossed my mind. It's, it's just, you know, it's Noah, and... I, I, I think we'll be okay. We just... We just need to work some stuff out. Okay, I can respect that. I don't have to like it, though. Listen, um, I think it's pretty obvious I, I'm pretty attracted to you. And you seem to be able to tolerate me, right? And I'm not married. So if you ever change your mind, just let me know. Mm. Who knows, it could be fun to hang out sometime without all the, uh, the baggage. <laughs> just so you know, I, I wasn't following you. I came in here Sophie, to... Sophie, I don't think you were following morning. me. I'm glad I ran into you. Margo said you dropped the charge in you. It was the right thing to do. We both know that. I meant what I said. I wasn't very nice to you. No, it's okay. No, it's not okay. You and I were friends. And I screwed it up. And I crossed a big line when I slept with you and my heart wasn't in it. Nobody should do that to anyone. I'm really sorry I did that to you. No, I... I wanted something that... I couldn't have that wasn't your fault. You know, I've been thinking a lot about the money you gave me. Yeah. Do you really think I could use it to start over, you know, away from Oakdale? Sophie, I think you can accomplish anything you set your mind to. I have every faith in you I always have. But I have a question. If it weren't for Meg, we have ever had a chance. So I ran into Raj Addington today. From school? Is he with Tony? No, uh, they, um, they broke up. Actually, it's kind of weird. He asked me out. Reg did? What'd you say? What do you expect? I said that I wasn't available. I mean, I'm not, am I? What, what kind of break are we talking about here? I don't know. It's, it's, it's whatever kind we need. Well, for the record, Noah, I don't need a break from you, so what are you saying? I... What? You what? You can't even give me an explanation about where we stand? I don't know. Yes, everything's it's still the same with me. I still need a break. Is that what you want to hear? Yes. Yes. When I ask my boyfriend how he feels about me seeing other guys, that's exactly what I want to hear. Look, I don't want to tell you what to do if, if, if that's what you want. If, if it's what I want, well, what about what you want? Do you want to see Reg wearing that t-shirt? You want to see us walking around campus arm in arm? Because that's what you're asking. And you know what, Noah? I know from experience that it sucks. And it hurts. From experience? What? You mean a mirror? Are you mad about that? No, I'm not mad about Amira. I'm mad about what you're doing. No, you know what? Not what you're doing. Scratch that. What you're not doing. What am I not doing? I have been sitting here next to you for 15 minutes and you haven't even touched me. You haven't touched me since we got back from New York. Okay, I don't want to talk about New York. And guess what? The ICE, they're not here anymore. That's not fair. And neither is what you're doing to me. Stop pretending that I'm not a part of this too, Noah. Yeah, well, you don't have to be. Not anymore. Paul, just tell the truth. It's okay, I can handle it. Sophie, it's not that simple. Look, I I've been where you are now, so I think I understand how you're thinking. 
And I have made decisions out of fear or anger, you name it. But loving Meg is not a decision that I made. I just do. Who am I to you, Noah? What? I mean, am I just some guy? Or, or am I it? Am I, am I the love of your life? How am I supposed to know that? I do. Because that's what you are to me. God, no, you haven't even taken off your stupid wedding ring. You didn't want me to marry Amira. Why didn't you say that? Well, what was I, was I supposed to say, Noah? If you love me, don't do it. Send the girl back to Iraq. Is that how you felt? <laughs> Why? Does that not sound like the Luke that you fell in love with? <sighs> do you even want me at all? Because you don't want me here. And you didn't want me in New York. And it feels like every time I try to stand with you, I have to fight to get there. So when are you going to fight for me, Noah? How is she? Uh, well, she's worried about you and stubborn and pushing herself too hard and doing things she shouldn't be doing. Right. Let's lock her up. <laughs> <laughs> no. But she does need to be closely monitored, so I was going to take a leave of absence from the hospital. No, you can't do that. You just got that job back. It's really important to you. Well, so is this, and it's something I want to do. You're not doing this for me, are you? I'm doing it for us. How is JJ doing? Better. We're still keeping a close eye on him. I think secretly he likes the attention. <laughs> is there anything we can do to help? That's, thanks for offering. No, I think that Jack and I have it under control. Oh, yeah. That's you. Yeah. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Sandy. Oh, okay. I'll be right there. Thanks. Jack got called into the station. We had a neighbor watching JJ. She has to go, which means so do I. Oh, I'm so glad we got a chance to catch up. Me too. And I will email you those pictures as soon as I can. Good. I'm sorry. It's okay. Oh, Carly. Books? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. See you. Bye. Bye. Something for you, too. What's that? An official welcome home. Are you saying that I never fought for you? It, Look, it, it, is that what you're saying? No, it's a... No! What about when you were paralyzed? And you didn't want to see anyone, including me. That was different. Not to me. I stayed. I showed you that I didn't care if you were in a wheelchair or not. I, I did those exercises with you. I helped you learn to walk again. I picked you up when you fell. I never once gave up on you, and now you're here telling me that I never fought for you? Well, then why is this so hard? If you really don't blame me for what happened to your father, why can't we work through this? What more do we have to go through? I don't... I don't know what else to say here. I feel like everything's closing in. I just need... You just need that break that you keep talking about. 